else coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat. It is indeed Love at First Sight. Although I read the wrong opening last week on This Week in Vice, this one is in fact Love at First Sight is what we're talking about on Go With The Heat. When Sunny dives deep into the world of personal ads and video dating. On This Week in Vice, we'll be taking a look back when this episode of Miami Vice aired from December 7th to January 17th, 1988, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on December 20th, the passenger ferry MV Donapaz sunk after colliding with an oil tanker in the Philippines. After the collision, the oil tanker caught fire and quickly spread to the ferry, and in the end, over 4,000 people lost their lives in the tragedy. To this day, the Donapaz incident is the deadliest peacetime maritime disaster. In sports, on January 17th, just one year after the drive, the Browns would suffer another defeat to the Broncos in the AFC Championship game with the fumble. With 1 minute 12 seconds left in the game, Ernest Biner fumbled the ball on the Broncos' one-yard line on a play that would have tied the game. And with something that's a little close to home for me, on January 16th, the St. Louis Cardinals announced their plans to move to the Phoenix Metro the following year. You can tell the move was worth it by all the Super Bowls they've won since coming to Arizona. In music, during the time between Vice episodes, there were four songs that would hold the top spot on the Hot 100. Three of them would hold it for just one week, including Heaven is a Place on Earth by Belinda Carlisle, So Emotional by Whitney Houston, and Got My Mind Set on You by George Harrison. But none of those are important because the king of the 80s is back at number one. From his debut album of the same name is Faith by the great George Michael. It was spent four weeks at the top and is one of Michael's most enduring songs and music videos. The only way it could be removed from the top is for a Beatle to release the song. In movies, so three men and a baby will spend some significant time ruling the box office at the end of 1987 and into 1988. Lucky for us, by the time the next Vice episode airs, there will be a new movie at the top. There is one other movie that reaches number one sandwiched between three men and a baby. For one week, the stand-up film Rob from Eddie Murphy will sneak in and eventually be the highest grossing stand-up film ever. Raw is some of Eddie Murphy's best content and most memorable jokes. Personally, I love Raw, but I'm still a little more partial to Delirious. Rules, rules. One, Lillian cannot use the phone. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at GoWithTheHeat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.